Okay, in this example, we're told that we're given a velocity field for an incompressible flow, and it's given here in terms of its x, y, and z components. Is this flow physically possible? Well, if it's going to be physically possible, we know that this velocity field has to satisfy the continuity equation. So the continuity equation for an incompressible flow is given right here. This is just the divergence of the velocity field is equal to zero, or if you expand it out, it'll be dux dx plus duy dy plus duz dz has to equal zero. So our x component of the velocity, let me highlight it in yellow, is right over here. So we'll have d dx of ux is d dx of minus 2xz, which will be a minus 2z. Okay, and then let's do the next one. I'll highlight that one in green. This is the y component of the velocity. So that is d dy of u sub y will be d dy of 2xy plus z squared. So that will equal 2x. So that's the, the green term. That's this one. Let me highlight the other one just so you can see what it's associated with. And then the last term is the d dz term. We'll highlight that one in this kind of pink color. So that's d dz of u sub z. That's d dz of z squared minus 2xz minus 2yz. So that'll come out to be 2z minus 2x minus 2y. So that's this term. All right, so then those should sum together if this is a real, if it's going to satisfy, those should sum together and equal zero if, if this satisfies the continuity equation. So when we substitute in, so dux dx is minus 2z, duy dy is 2x, and duz dz is 2z minus 2x minus 2y. And the question is, does it equal zero? Well, the Minus 2z cancels out with that one. Here's a 2x that cancels that out with that one. And we end up with this, which clearly does not equal 0 in general. So we can say that this flow field is not physically possible. So is this flow field physically possible? The answer is no. And it's because it doesn't satisfy the continuity equation everywhere. It only satisfies the continuity equation when y is equal to 0. So it, it just... It, does, it has to satisfy this equation everywhere to be realistic. If it doesn't satisfy this equation, it doesn't satisfy conservation of mass. Remember that the continuity equation is just conservation of mass shrunk down to a very small point, very small volume. Okay, we'll go ahead and end the example there.